How to use Deputy for scheduling, Deputy tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to talk you through how to access the features and functions of Deputy. Um, basically, if you want to go to their site, just type in deputy.com. And for those of you who don't know, Deputy is a scheduling software. So it works by scheduling and timesheets, stuff like that. Now you can start accessing their features by clicking and login if you already have an account. And if you haven't, you can start free trial right over here. And you can also click this one right over here. But if you're curious about their pricing, you can immediately see them just by clicking this one right here. So if it's not worth it, if it's not worth the price, maybe it's not worth to try the free trial as well. So before you proceed, check their pricing. So you won't be wasting of your time trying their free trial if you can afford the paid version of it once your period trial period ended. Now let's try deputy for free by clicking this button right over here. Now after that, it'll ask us to input our work email, which I'm doing right now. And then of course, after that, our name as well. Now let me input my name here, stick this on and get started. Now it's done loading. Once we inputted their email and our name, stuff like that, let's try to click this button, discover deputy. Now, step one out of three, tell us a bit about your business. Now, let's input my business name, which is Yoke. Basically, this is a cafe. And let's click on, let's choose on Philippines from this li list. And let's input my number. Next is what best describes your business? So is it healthcare, retail and hospitality, services, charity, and other? Let me just go and click retail and hospitality because my business is supposed to be a cafe. Apparently you have to like just click once, not double click it. Once you click, nothing will happen. You just have to uh, select it from here. Is it a fast food cafe, sit down restaurant, pharmacies? Let me choose cafe right here. And it'll also, it'll, also, it'll also ask you how many employees do you need to manage. Now they can go from 1 to 9, 10 to 15, 16 to 49, 50 to 249. 250 to 749 and then 750 plus. And then once you're done choosing, let's go ahead and click on 10 to 15. Once you're done choosing, click on next. Step two out of three, let us get to know you. We will personalize your trial experience. What brings you to deputy? Save time scheduling, track hours worked, process your team's pay. So it can either be three of this, you guys. I think I'm going to go ahead with save time scheduling. And how do you currently schedule your team, pen and paper, spreadsheet, another software? Let me say spreadsheet. Now, step three out of three, let us get to know you. We will personalize your trial experience. When are you looking to improve the way you schedule your team? Is it as soon as possible in the near future? Just looking around, maybe like let's click on as soon as possible. And they'll also ask you how you heard about deputy. Let me just click on other and let's create business right here. Once you're done that, they will have to process all the details that you've inputted. So we can maybe like wait for a minute or two for this. It won't take a while. Basically, these are the things that you can do with the app. Process pay with ease, simple schedule management, build schedules based on staff availability, clocking in and out fast. There's also a feature like that. Basically, you can like connect the computer and the, the, the smartphone. Process pay with ease as well. All right, so I think it's done loading and now it's redirecting us to our page. Wow, page, it, uh, it's like the other platform that I've reviewed as well. It's basically just like the main website and then the extended um, address is your profile right away. Okay, so now you guys, this is your account. This is how their platform looks like. It's really neat, it's light. So all that you see here are the things that you can access under free trial. So this one's your account. You can sign out, you can log up by using this account as well. And you can change anything about your business through this account if you forgot to input some or if you want to add in some details as well. Now, the first thing that you see is the schedule, of course, because this is a scheduler software. So it works by um, adding schedule via the add sign. So if you want to add in a new schedule, just click on add sign right over there and you'll see this pop up window right here that you'll need to input details to. Like, for example, who is working? So is it an empty shift or an open shift? Uh, in which area is that work supposed to be done? You can see here. 
the timeline of that work start from start to finish like you can also add in a break a meal break and rest break right over here so you don't have to manually input breaks automatically they have your two breaks and next is to add in a note if you want to like personalize that task more if you want to do like tell them a reminder about what to do that maybe you know they might have forgotten or stuff like that and you can Choose here shift actions if you want to clone the action, if you want to send over, and if you want to view shift history. You can delete it or you can immediately save it right away. Under save is also an option for you to repeat the task tomorrow, repeat for the rest of the week, and repeat for specific days. So once you've inputted one task right here, it doesn't mean that you have to input them every day or daily you just have to like click on repeat for tomorrow for the rest of the week or for specific days you can just, uh, choose like for example monday wednesday tuesday friday saturday stuff like that so aside from the schedule we also have the tab called tasks now the tasks right here is different from the schedule because this is a list of tasks now you can see here my tasks which is the tasks that should be done by you, the owner, or by you who is managing the business. And next is the assigned tasks right over here. This is where you see all the assigned tasks aside from the schedule right over here. The assigned tasks offers a list version. That way, you'll actually see an overview all the tasks that are needed to be done easily without, you know, um, taking a look at it on a broader scale. Next is you also have the locations right here. Now the location, uh, this is the current locations. If you manage multiple locations, you can add in more. You can add in one location by clicking this button right here. And then there'll be a separate um, option for that certain location. There'll be a separate calendar for that location. Really pretty neat. Really, really amazing stuff. Next is the people tab. This is where you manage your employees, their pay and stuff like that. And of course, timesheets right here is um, also useful. You can do here stuff like approving timesheets, exporting timesheets. And of course, the reports, this is where you see reports such as employee details, journal usage, leave management. There's also an option to like see employee birthdays, which is sweet and thoughtful and a lot more cards that you can access and input the details that you need to have a record on like uh, uh, report builder schedule versus timesheet versus sales team member timesheet locations time off schedules and also the leave management schedule so basically that's how deputy work you guys it offers more than scheduling i think this platform compared to others focuses more on employees and I think that's pretty sweet. And that's, of course, what should be done. And if you think that Deputy is worth it to try, go in, make an account for yourself, and let me know what you think down in the comments below. That's it for this video. And see you again in the next video. Peace out.